actually pretty good. It's all right, isn't it? We have this place where we get all of our coffee and they roast it themselves. Yeah, they have this big roaster down in the basement and you can smell it all the way up on the street. Actually, some days you can smell it from our apartment four stories up. It's wonderful. Manhattan's best. Some magazine wrote it up. Who knows, but it is, it's very good. Yeah, that sounds good. You'll like it. <laughs> good. You look nice. Thanks. So do you. That's bright. Yeah. That's one thing that I do miss. All the space, the light. You could sit out here all morning. No, well, it's not that warm. Are you cold? No. I'm no, I'm sorry. It has. It's gotten chilly. You're right. If you if you want to go inside, I'm fine. I just thought that maybe it'd be nice to have a cup of coffee out here. It is. Plus, the kitchen's all packed away. But if you want to go inside, I'm fine. Well, do you want your jacket? Sure. Here. Yeah, you can feel it coming. Honey, there's there's no rush. I know. If you want to hang out for a while, maybe be alone or no. But we don't have to go for another. 20 minutes or so. Yeah, I know. You're all packed? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Well, if you forgot anything, it doesn't really matter. You know, the movers will take everything to us next month. I know. I know that... I know this is hard on you. I'm fine. Well, the leaving, that's the hardest part, you know? Once we get there, we can just relax and enjoy ourselves a little bit. I know. You're gonna love New York. I can't wait. It's a great city. It's really alive. I know. It's not like Chicago. It's so energetic. Yeah, I uh, read about that. Look, Mitch and I want to make this as easy a transition as possible, and I think that you're really going to feel at home in New York. You know, really looking forward to what Broadway musicals okay well Mitch can get us tickets to whatever you would mm -hmm. like yeah hey you know the Rockefeller Center all of those skaters in the winter okay and well, the many fine museums I know how hard this is on you Listening to you say how hard this is for me is what's hard for me, Claire. Once you get there, once you get there, you're gonna see, you're gonna see all of the possibilities yeah, that are like, available to you. Restraints and electroshock and lithium. Schools, Catherine, cut in New York alone there. There's NYU and Columbia. Oh, I can't wait for bright college days and football games and necking in the quad. Okay, well, if that isn't what you want, then we can help you get a job, okay? Mitch has amazing contacts all over town. You think 
he knows anybody in the phone sex industry. <laughs> I would like to make this an easy transition for you. This is gonna be easy, Claire. Yeah. This is gonna be so fucking easy, you have no idea. sit very quietly on a plane to New York, live very quietly in my nice New York apartment, and answer all of Dr. Van Helmish's questions very politely. You can see any doctor that you would like, or you can see no doctor. Oh, I want to see a doctor. In fact, I would love to see a doctor named Dr. Van Helmish. Can you find me one? I would also prefer if he wore a monocle. And he also needs to have a really soft couch. So I can be comfortable while I'm blaming everything on you. Don't come. Oh, I'm coming. No, you know what? You know what? Stay here then. See how you would do. I could. <laughs> you couldn't take care of yourself for five fucking days. Yeah. That's right, Catherine. Five days. You you slept all week. I had to cancel my flight. I missed a week of work for you. I was this close to taking you to the hospital. I couldn't believe it when you finally dragged yourself up. Well, you know what? I was just tired, okay? No, you weren't. You were completely out of it. God, you weren't even speaking, Catherine. I just want to talk to you. Stay then. Stay if you hate me so much. What would I do? You're the genius, right? Figure it out.